It's definitely a good point. Yeah, I think uh, tough, isn't it, Dave? Because we come here today set out to try to win the game, and then the circumstances mean that you have to review your approach. Um, said at half time to the boys, I really felt like um, we were in it and we would get a chance if we could set up tactically in order to you know, deal with the, having the man down. So, um, unbelievably delighted for the boys because a couple of chances that Barrow have at the death there, one of them goes in, it goes from being an unbelievably well-earned point to a demoralising late defeat and it can have a real effect on you. But uh, I thought the desire, the attitude, the willing to stay in the game today um, and then at times a little bit of quality on the break was, um, was fantastic to see. Any complaints about the red card? No, I don't think I haven't watched it back, but I would say that um, Dan probably gets caught sort of the wrong side of the of the attacker. I've got uh, how shall I put this so I don't get in any trouble. I've got some opinions on the way the game was refereed today. It's probably the polite way to put it, um, but that wasn't one of them. Surely there should have been a second red, and, and that would have been for a Barrow play in the second half. That instant that saw uh, Danny Johnson on the other side of the advertising boarding. Yeah, who got booked. Um, after being thrown over an advertising boarded. So, um, yeah, well, uh, uh, um, <laughs> there were some things that have happened today. and uh, so It's very easy, isn't it, to come out and criticise referees and say it was this and say it was that. But there were some things today that just blow, blew my mind. You know, even with, with, um, with Connor's one there, where, where I think it was a good tackle in the end on Connor, but Danny, Danny Johnson's wiped out on the halfway line and there's no yellow card. And, and, it, and I'm told that he didn't get booked for... Um, because he was, because we played on. I, I forgot that the. I've, I've always thought there was a, an advantage draw when you go back once the ball goes out of play, which is one of the things that Joby was, uh, was was caution for. So yeah, some mesmerising moments today. But your side this afternoon, but throughout this campaign of saying with such resolve. Yes, and, and look, I, I'm not including today in, in this when I say this, but we're disappointed that we have to come back and bounce back and, and show that resolve so much. We would love to be able to uh, go goals ahead and, and build on um, good starts and good performances in the first half. So t today is almost like a separate analysis to that because um, being down to 10 men for most of the game, pretty much you know, 9 or 90 minutes of the game, we've, um, we've showed an incredible attitude and application and uh, I think it's always been in this group in an abundance but we're seeing it more and more this year and we, we've, you know, we've Again, today aside, we want to we want to be able to build on that. And it's six now for Danny Johnson. Ah, um, it, as it dropped, I thought, oh god, here comes another lob. But um, I didn't think by the time he sort of had his touch, the goalie was going to get back into position. And I was standing right behind it, and it just went straight as an arrow in the bottom corner. He's uh, he's on incre he's incre in incredible form. Um, and I think he's worked great right, alongside all of the others today. You know, just epitomised about the uh, the attitude within, within the squad. There's so many games. There's another one on Tuesday at Warsaw. This squad has had two weeks almost training at home. They've had been for the vast majority of this game down to ten men. How difficult is it to keep the fitness for Tuesday? Tough, um, but that's why uh, I've always said about the faith that I have in this group. And you can see the boys running behind me now. They'll be ready for Tuesday night. The ones that have haven't got time on the pitch or have had limited access to to, to pitch time today, they'll be ready. Um, and I'm confident that any of those that step onto the pitch, whether it be to start or like today when, when boys have come off the bench, that they're, um, that they're ready to apply themselves. I think um, it's taxing, it's tough. Um, those two weeks, you know, they set you back a little bit, but at the same time, it's, um, I think the important thing to also remember is the period before, the wins and the results that we picked up um, whilst playing you know, a number of them, all the criticism that we've had of some of the players having the COVID virus. We, you know, we've had a lot of players suffering with illness for a long, long time now and they're showing the determination to come through. So I think once we get you know, fresh again or the opportunity to be fresh again, we'll, uh, we'll be in a very good place. Any injuries from today? No, I think some bashes and bruises and then certainly some fatigued legs, but uh, I think that the journey home will be one that we can all, uh, we can all sit with a smile on our face because, uh, because there's a lot to be proud of today. Just one important arrival last week. Could there be another one next? We're looking, Dave. Um, I think I said to you, oh, blimey, I forgot, forget my days in a week, but Tuesday after the Wimbledon game that we constantly got our eye on one or two things. We'd like uh, one more to, to bolster the group. Um, but if, if we do, great, you know, as soon as possible. But otherwise, we'll make sure that we, uh, we're persistent and, and wait for that right time and the right individual to come along, like we have done with Tunji. And, you know, I was pleased for him today. Thanks, mate.